Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you four different summer hairstyles, I think it was four. I'm going to be showing you four different summer hairstyles and you could wear these to festivals, you could wear it to a kind of summer barbecue or like party or something. You could wear this every day if you have the time. And you guys asked if I would do more hair tutorials because I've done like one hair tutorial video in the past and I think you guys quite liked it so I thought I would do another one for you guys. And all you need for these hairstyles are a pair of straighteners, these ones are the GHD V Gold Stylus. I believe yeah this is what the box looks like it's just got this pretty spotted pattern on it the lovely people over at best British bloggers hooked me up with GHD and sent me these fabulous straighteners I will leave all of the links down below so you guys can go and check them out you can curl your hair with these you can straighten your hair with these you can wave your hair with these and I thought I would just show you a few different ways to use them in this video you also need some bobby pins or hair pins or hair slides I just call them hair slides to be honest and also you will need some little mini elastics also remember if you are styling your hair to use a heat protectant spray, this is the GHD heat protectant spray. So without further ado, let's just get on to the tutorial. So for the first hairstyle, my hair was still a little bit wavy underneath, so I'm just using my straighteners, and these are the GHDs, and I'm just brushing out my hair first, and I'm just going to use some of the GHD heat protectant spray because you want to use this if you're going to be using straighteners or blow drying your hair to protect it. And then I'm just straightening my hair out, some of the bits underneath were still a bit wavy. I'm just straightening my hair out to make sure it's all nice and smooth and straight. And then I'm just taking out these two front pieces of hair and then taking a section of hair from the left hand side of my head and I'm just kind of brushing it up into a sort of high pony. And then I'm just twirling my hair round and round so that I can twirl it into a little bun. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. I'm just twisting my hair until it kind of forms into this little bun and then I'm just twisting it round. And then I'm just taking some bobby pins or hair slides and I'm just going to pin this down. I probably used about three or four in each of the little buns, maybe five, so that they stay in place. And then I did the exact same on the other side, taking an equal amount of hair and then brushing it so it's all nice and smooth into a high pony and then I'm just twirling it round and round again to make it into a little bun. Then once I'd done that, I'm just securing it into place with some hair slides and then I just straightened out some bits of hair that I'd missed when I was straightening my hair earlier just so that my hair is super smooth and straight looking and I feel like this look is so 90s, it kind of reminds me of Baby Spice. Did she ever have a hair like this? I don't even know. So that is the first hairstyle and I think it's super cute. So for the second hairstyle, I'm just brushing out my hair again to make sure there's no tangles and then I'm taking these kind of three sections of hair at the front and I'm just going to braid them sort of heading towards the back of my head so I'm not braiding them straight down and then I'm just securing it with a little mini elastic and then doing the exact same on the other side kind of braiding it backwards and just basically doing a standard braid and then I'm tying it up again and then I'm going to take the two braids and just pin them to the back of my head And then with the rest of my hair, I'm just taking my straighteners and kind of wrapping my hair around them to create curls. So you want to kind of clamp your hair in the straighteners, then twist them round and then just drag it down your hair. So hopefully that makes sense. So you just want to kind of turn the straighteners upside down and then drag it down your hair and then it creates cute little curls. And I just did this all over my hair on both sides until all of my hair was curled. And then I was kind of twisting a small section from the front of my hair and I just tucked it into the braids at the back of my head. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, but all I did is I literally just tucked it over the top and then down through the braid. So I just made a little gap there and then tucked my hair through it. And that is the second hairstyle. So it's just kind of a little braided twisty thing with some curls. So onto the third hairstyle, I'm just taking two kind of bigger sections of hair at the front of my head and I'm braiding these two together, but not too high up at the top and not too tight. So you want to leave a pretty big gap at the top. And then once you've tied that up, you can then flip it to the back of your head. So it's a super easy way to kind of braid the back of your hair without having to kind of worry about not being able to see what you're doing. And then I just flipped over the braid and put it through the loop. 
and then I'm just curling the rest of my hair like I did earlier and this is just such an easy one it's so easy but it looks like you put an effort and yeah I think it's really cute so that is hairstyle number three and for the fourth hairstyle I am saw this look on Pinterest it's kind of making a love heart out of your hair so you want to take two front sections of your hair and just tie them together at the back in a normal kind of mini ponytail style thing you then want to take two smaller sections and this bit is kind of confusing to explain but hopefully you can see what I'm doing I literally just kind of tucked them up through the gap in the hair tie thing um, so hopefully you can see what we're doing I just literally put it through the gap upwards if that makes any sense and then I'm just taking a hairpin and pinning the hair into a kind of U shape and I did that on both sides of my head so I just kind of pinned them there with a bobby hair pin they didn't do this in the Pinterest one I kind of did it wrong but it ended up working out and then once I had pinned it in place, I'm then taking another small elastic and I'm just going to tie all of that together so it makes a cute little heart shape in your hair. And it actually turned out pretty cool and it did make a heart so I was super impressed with myself. And then I just straightened out the two front pieces of my hair and that is the finished look. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you would like me to do any more hair videos then just let me know down below. Also if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel I would love it if you would subscribe. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!